everyone, I hope you've been well. It's been a long time. I took a break from YouTube for my mental health, but recently I really wanted to make a video again and so this vlog was born. It was my birthday this past week. For me, the best way to spend my birthday is to keep it simple and do something I love, like manga shopping. My first stop of the day was Book Off. I don't generally buy used manga if I can avoid it, but of course with out-of-print books, sometimes the secondhand market is the only option available. It's been a while since I've been here and I can already see that they've redecorated. I've seen so many people make their own manga wall and they all look so cool. My eyes will always immediately find Noragami. I was very excited to see a panel of Yato here. One thing I like about Book Off is their selection of manga in Japanese. They have a lot of older titles or volumes that are sometimes hard to find in Kinokuniya. I haven't studied Japanese in a long time, and so I also haven't been buying a lot of books in Japanese either. A little while ago, I felt really motivated to learn Japanese again, and hopefully I can start studying soon. As for why I went to Book Off, the out-of-print manga I've been trying to find these days is The Wallflower. I remember watching the anime a long time ago and I really enjoyed it, so I want to check out the manga now. But some of these volumes are so expensive. I didn't find any volumes here, but I expected that. Since I had stopped by anyway, I figured I'd look around just cuz. I also wanted to check out the BL manga section because I've had luck here in the past with finding older titles. With the new reorganization, I think the poor BL section had to be sacrificed though. Kind of a shame, because I'll miss it. On my way out, I checked out the figures. Nothing caught my eye, but there was a huge variety. After book off, I headed to Kinokuniya. This is still my favorite place to buy manga in person, because I love that all of the books are wrapped in plastic. The store was really busy today, and it looks like that was because an event started recently, which is pretty cool. As always, I like to check out the new releases first to see if I missed pre-ordering anything or if anything new catches my eye. I've heard Bizarre Individual talk about Lost Lad London and they made me want to check it out. I gotta admit, I think the cover looks a little boring, but I trust their taste. Every time I go book shopping and I see free rent, I feel bad that I haven't picked up any volumes recently. I enjoyed what I've read so far, but I guess I'm just not in the mood to continue right now. I really want to check out Shoha Shoten. I read the premise and it sounds really fun. I've never read a manga about sketch comedy before, so that's gonna be really cool. Of course, I always have to check out Noragami. This cover hurts. Bizarre Individual also spoke highly of Welcome Back Alice, so this is another manga I want to check out soon. I love this cover. I am so behind on Blue Period. A few weeks ago, Right Stuff finally sent me my pre-order of Volume 5, so I've got a ways to go. I have no idea who this character is, but they make me want to read Prince Freya right now. I was so excited to see my beloved Honey Lemon Soda. I'm also so happy that my friends have been enjoying it so far. I've heard pretty much the full spectrum of comments about my secret affection. It sounds really weird, but if you've read it, let me know your thoughts and if I should check it out. Recently, a bunch of friends have checked out Oshinoko. When I read the premise, it sounded really weird, but I've heard nothing but good things about this volume, so I'll probably try to pick it up. I always have to check out the art book section. They are all way too beautiful. This is one that caught my eye immediately. I've had my eye on this art book for a really long time because the character on the cover looks so handsome. One day I'll finally bite the bullet. These are some other books that caught my eye. I know I sound like a broken record, but they are just so beautiful. I also checked out the new Otakoi box set. It looks pretty, but the small increase in height bothers me for some reason. A surprise to absolutely no one, of course I prioritized the BL manga section. I recently started 10 count and I'm enjoying it so far. I would really love to continue Candy Color Paradox, so hopefully the earlier volumes come back in stock soon. Another bizarre individual recommendation, I absolutely need to check out Cherry Magic soon. Now that Given is wrapping up, I feel like I should start picking up the manga. 
I've only watched the anime and I loved it, so I bet I would love the manga too. I was beyond excited to see Volume 2 of our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. I've been looking for this volume, so how lucky was I that I could grab the last copy? Is anyone else struggling so hard to read this spine? I checked out the first couple chapters of The Titan's Bride on Renta, and it is much more wholesome than I expected. I also checked out the GL manga section, but they still don't have donuts under a crescent moon in stock. Hopefully they will soon. Then I went to check out the Japanese BL manga section. It's always fun for me to hang out here because I always end up getting art baited into checking out new manga. Some of these covers are so beautiful. The last couple times I went to Kinokuniya, I've pretty much been the only person or one of two people who lingered in this section. But it was surprisingly packed here today. What was really nice was that I saw a few older looking women too and not just women my age. It low-key made me wish I could have my own BL metamorphosis moment and befriend a grandma who loves BL manga. But I think these ladies just wanted me to move out of the way so that they could look at more of the books too. It's fine, we're all just admiring handsome fictional characters in our own way. <laughs> Failed faded counters aside, I did come across a lot of manga I want to check out. I am utterly obsessed with the slam dunk Shin Soban edition. These covers are so nice. I love how colorful they are and I'm strongly considering collecting some of my favorites. Honestly, I had no idea there was an anime adaptation of The Girl from the Other Side. This set looks so pretty. The Jojin X covers look so cool. A little freaky, but I can't help but stare. I think it just came out in English, so I'll have to check it out soon. At this point, I just started wandering around aimlessly and checking out anything that caught my eye. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend checking out this manga. It is so, so good. I almost completely skipped over the Dunmei section. I know, so unlike me. I'm not much of a figure collector, but I still felt like checking this section out. This Miku Nendoroid is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I do not envy Miku collectors, there is way too much cool merch of her. I also checked out some more merch. I wasn't really in the mood to buy any because I've actually been trying to downsize my collection. At this point, I got a little hungry, so I checked out the cafe and got this white peach tea. You're not allowed to bring books into the cafe, so I hid my volume of manga in this little corner. While I was here, I checked out the new releases of manga in Japan. Afterward, I checked out and went to grab dinner and bubble tea. I also took some really adorable photos with my birthday cake. The cake itself was delicious. I hope you had fun watching this video. If you're also a February baby, happy birthday to you too! I shall see you again soon.